Hello and welcome to Megawatt News, I'm Katie Scott. Today is essential viewing for all of you music lovers. We have in the headlines, music industry targeting internet providers, Amazon MP3 to launch worldwide, Qtrax signs a historic music deal, or has it, and Sony Ericsson revamps the Play Now arena. First up, the big guns of the music industry have got together and decided to have a pop at internet service providers. In a 21-page report, and believe me, I've read it, the IFPI, which represents 1,400 members in 75 countries, said that more needs to be done to counter illegal music downloads. The digital music industry is now worth $2.9 billion, but the organisation has called for measures to stop it becoming what French President Nicolas Sarkozy has called a high-tech world west, a lawless zone where outlaws can pillage works with abandon. The IFPI wants providers to act by warning users who are caught downloading illegally, then cutting them off if they carry on, something the French have already started doing. And the IFPI went as far as to threaten ISPs. IFPI CEO John Kennedy said, we as an industry will not be shy to use legal action to force ISPs to act when dialogue fails. More news from the musical download world. Amazon is to launch its DRM-free MP3 digital music store worldwide this year. Music will be offered from all of the four major labels as well as more than 33,000 independents. Customers will be able to play their own tunes on practically every device out there, including the Zoom and iPod. There are no country launch dates as yet, but we will, of course, keep you posted. However, there are doubts over the launch of another music download service. Qtrax made what could have been a historic announcement today when it claimed to have won the backing of all of the big record companies to deliver an unlimited supply of free songs to music fans. The service would offer 30 million tunes from, amongst others, EMI, Universal, Sony BMG and Warner. All customers would have to put up with for their free tunes would be a couple of ads and Ford, Microsoft and McDonald's were all muted to have signed up. But just hours after the announcement and hours before the launch came a bombshell. Warner Music told an Australian news channel that it had signed no such deal with Qtrax and this was followed by similar announcements from EMI and Universal. The fourth, Sony, is keeping quiet. Qtrax hadn't replied as we filmed, but of course you'll have more news when we do. Finally, there's better news from Sony Ericsson, who has revamped its newly renamed over-the-air music download service. The Play Now Arena will now offer millions of new tracks after deals with Sony, EMI and Warner, who have all been very, very busy this week, as you've been hearing. Track ID, the music identification tool, has also been added, along with Play Now Uncut for unsigned artists. The service will be available in Sweden, Denmark, Norway and Finland in May and then roll out across the rest of Europe and then the world throughout the year. Those were the big stories of the day. Tune in again tomorrow when we will have more news and views from the world of gadgets and technology, including possible news of a big camera launch. Thanks for watching.